Hello guys. Here I am. <laughs> okay, so this is very different for me. I am a uh, not a camera person but I thought that I would show you guys that yes I am a real person so we're gonna do this and uh, I'll start out by saying that Tammy Anderson and I were talking on the phone <laughs> we were talking about different things and we came up with a traveling trip tick technique and we want to see if it's gonna work so um, we're gonna do this I'm not sure how yet but in my head I'm going to have two cups of paint and we're going to let it go down and then in the middle and then I'll let the canvases down and then move it around or whatever um whatever I <laughs> seem whatever I deem needs to be done in order to make it not a complete hot mess but fingers crossed because I think it's gonna be awesome so um, we're challenging you guys to also try it and hashtag traveling trip tick okay <sighs> all right here we go Hashtag traveling trip dick. Now, <laughs> let me set this aside. I am so awkward. So awkward. All right. So in this cup, I have some Prussian blue. Um, the only reason I did, I pre-did the canvases was because they were kind of old and they're level ones. So I wanted to, I tightened them up with some water and then I just spray painted the sides in case my masterpiece doesn't make it all the way to the sides. So the colors I am going to be using are Grumbacher's Prussian Blue, uh, Liquitex Magenta, Artist Loft Copper, Artist Loft Phthalo Green, and Artist Loft White. They are all mixed with Floetrol and a tiny bit of maybe a teaspoon of um, Liquitex Pouring Medium. Uh, ew, I had to buy a new brand of glove and I'm not sure I'm liking this. Um, and only one color is going to have silicone in it, which is, I believe, the magenta. So, this is just phthalo blue. I had to, or I'm sorry, Prussian blue. Um, I had to make up some more. make sure coach is not in here with us <laughs> all right so I'm just going to base this canvas out the other ones are just gonna be um <laughs> uh, dry canvas just because if I put a base on them, they'll just start running right away. So, all right. Use like the rest of that. Okay. 
going to get a couple baby wipes. We're ready to rock. Um, 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 um. And I'm going to spread this Prussian blue around a little bit. So I got a new phone and it does this wide angle thing so it kind of gets my entire works well this side of my workspace so um, you guys are seeing all of my clutter well some people call it clutter I call it treasures <laughs> right they're treasures I'm just spreading this around with a silicone brush um, yeah so did tape off the backs of these. Oops. All right. That should be good enough. Oh, I think Tammy already did hers. I'm not sure if it's posted yet or not. So I'm kind of curious to see that. All right. Let me wipe this silicone brush off. Now I covered, <coughs> I'm sorry, my other sides because I have stuff over there, treasures, <laughs> that I don't want paint on in case this goes way south. Okay? So, Okay, so I don't know if I should just bring you totally in on what I'm doing or I'm gonna torch these bubbles. So remember, anytime you're using any sort of heating element or anything, use extreme caution and always have uh, like a fire extinguisher or something like this on hand in case things go again south so and anything here that I'm using you can most likely find in my Amazon shop which is in the description um, all right guys I'm pretty scared now I layered my colors already just because it saves time. Um, I did not mix them. Um, I let them run down the side so that they would layer. And then at the end, I just took like the copper and I like squirted it way down in there so that it shot into the colors. Not sure if that was a mistake or not, but we will see. Okay, guys. Let me make sure you're in focus. Oh, boy. Okay. Let me bring you down a little bit. Okay, so at that angle, I think you can see pretty much what's going to happen here and then what's going to happen here. And I hope it's beautiful. All right, guys. So I'm going to pour at the same time, right? Because my left hand 
always functions for me. Oh, I did put my apron on because I don't know. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Okay. So I think we're going to pour. I think we discussed pouring like half of the cup and letting it run down and then slowly letting the sides down so that all the paint doesn't come off. Okay, enough talking. Oh boy. <sighs> okay. All right, here goes. Um, now you guys are gonna see exactly how uncoordinated I am. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is really hard to... Mm. All right, we're just gonna do it. If it's not totally centered, it's not totally centered. Right? Right. Whoops, it's not going. I think I'm gonna get some lines. All right. Okay. Let it go a little bit, right? It's doing some really cool stuff. Oh, this side needs more paint. These are all three 12 by 12 inch canvases. All right, so I'm going to Take the cups. I just put a little piece of tape on them just so that the canvases wouldn't <gasps> go. Okay. Let me take this cup now. Now. My stuff's not. A little pin. I don't want to lose all of that paint yet. I just put like little pins in the sides so that. a little bit a little bit more space on this side so I'm gonna do that okay so I'm gonna set I don't know what I'm gonna do I do gotta move this Shit, though. I should have did this on my longer table. All right. So I'm just going to do, because these side canvases need a little bit more paint, right? So maybe do... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. See, now you guys can actually see the wheels turning in my face. So 
you know, if I would have put Hmm. Okay. Here we go. I am going to embellish just a bit, just to outline this right here, where the pour came down. I guess once the pour's done, I guess the rules can be what you want them to be. <laughs> I'm not sure. But this will also bring like the two pieces more together, right? Right. All right. Let's do some pouring here. Put some on here, with some ribbons. And we'll do the same over here. I'm still losing a bunch. Can I use what can I use? Put this here. Oops. Turn off the ribbon. All right, it's cool because it's like the same and then more of the phthalo green is showing up. Okay. I do have some paint left over, but I'm going to set that aside for uno momento and hope that I don't. All right. So, this was not supposed to happen. It was too drippy. Okay, let me do... I'll work with this side first. Gonna kind of rock it back and forth. Try to, hopefully you guys have decided to do it in a bigger space than me, because that would have been smart. Okay. 
just going to do and make sure my sides are done. I am going to move it some more, but I don't want them to look like twins, but they do need to be like from the same tribe, right? They are cryptics. This is not a level space. So, here's the first one. I'm going to put this on the level space, and when this is all over, I'm going to put them all together. And you'll see them. I'll be right there. Okay. All right. So that's that. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> All right. So again, I'm just going to do my edges here so that they match a little bit. I think if I was to do this again, I think I would put like a thin layer down on the canvas. All right, let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to set this middle one right here. And we're gonna work on this one. Cause it's just laying here. All right, got some pretty cool cells happening. Paint doesn't like to go over dry surfaces. It tends to fold over itself a bit, and I don't really like that. I mean, a lot of people don't put down their base colors. I do have that other one still in my site, so I can See how it's just kind of sticking there on that one spot? All right, and then I just want to bring it back because I don't like all of this white here. You don't want to move it back and forth and back and forth and side to side because you end up getting zigzaggities. See, like that? Okay, just gonna set it down right here just to get my sides, make sure they are all covered. I'm 
normally I have cups or something under them, but hmm. Why didn't that paint go over? Because the canvas was dry right there. You ever notice your nose always itches when you can't itch it? How can people say that when you can't itch it? You're not itching it, it's already itching, right? This is some of the shit that goes through my head when I'm being silent on my videos. <laughs> some of the stuff that I probably sh shouldn't say. So you're going to scratch it. You're not going to itch it. Remember that. All right, I'm going to go set this over there now on a level surface. Get the drips off. And then we're going to work on this center one. Really anxious to see what Tammy did or if I even did it right. I mean, really, it's not really a right or a wrong way to do a new technique, right? Where the hell did that other cup go? Shit. Yeah, because even if you do a new technique wrong, who's going to tell you it's wrong? Nobody. That's who. Nobody's going to tell you it's wrong. All right, let's move this over here. I need a new place to wipe my hands. <laughs> All right. So, this I don't see any magenta in at all. So, well, I mean, they're still in there. So I think I'm going to put just a little bit. Otherwise, it's not going to look. Like it's even a distant cousin eight time removed. Okay, we'll see how that does. I don't want to do too much. All right. So what are we going to do here? This has been sitting a while. I'm going to go this way with both of them. Kind of rock them. rock a baby. And then I'm going to turn it. And then we're going to by letting it go off the sides over here, see how those cells are stretching out now? The magenta is really not mixing with it, but figure it out. So we will bring it back to 
the center, sorry. Back to the center. I'm just thinking, guys. Like I can see the magenta here. Just don't like how like kind of in your face it is, you know. I don't think that it will. Well, let me see something. Let's try something, shall we? Softens it up a bit, except for that big sploosh that I put in there, which I don't like. boobs in this and then there's going to be booby marks in it. <laughs> I don't really want to use a straw because then I'll get a line. Okay, I think one more blow down here. Okay. All right, I think. That this, I think that when they're put back together, it's going to be kind of cool because on the other ones, the magenta's on the outside. So I think it's all going to go together afterwards. So let me. Um, I think I'm going to pause you guys for a moment and I'm going to get um, them all set up over on my other table as the triptych and I'll be right back. Okay. One minute. All right. Where's the pause button? Okay, guys, I am back. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, I'm not sure I'm loving these. But as I was doing it, 
I was seeing where I was making mistakes and where I wasn't. So I will definitely be revisiting this. I think I'm not liking the magenta. If I stayed in the blues and the greens. You know, I, I like the technique. I think I'm just not in love with the colors. But let me get you closer. Oh, hello, centerpiece. All right, let me get you backed up just a bit. Okay, so this is the middle piece. I try to keep you on the tripod just so that, because my camera skills are not very good. So this is the middle piece. I'll go in a little bit. I have tons of cells. Um, now I only put silicone in, in the magenta. I don't see the copper. I think maybe that's what I'm missing too. I mean, I see hints of it, but I don't see a lot of it. And I really do like the copper. You know what? I'm going to put you... Let me take you out of this for a second. Hang on. Going for a ride. Careful, careful. Okay. Okay. It's just a little shaky. Just my shaky hands. But I can't get super close. Um, so, yeah. I do like the technique. And I will do it again. And I hope you guys try it too. Because it was fun and very challenging to the uncoordinated me. You guys might be real coordinated. Me? I'm not. Alright, and then this was the side side piece. I was just going to say, I did say the side piece, didn't I? Anyway, uh, rewind that, delete it. This was the piece on the left hand side. Um, I don't know if you guys see it or not. Say hello. Hello. Isn't he cute? <laughs> A little smiley face. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, that's my paint even laughing at me. <laughs> I do like how the magenta and the phthalo green reacted. See the lines and stuff? Yeah, I do like that. Although I, I like how phthalo green reacts to anything. Those kind of look lightning boltish. All right, now let's go to the other, <laughs> the other piece, the, uh, the right hand side. So, I mean, these are some pretty big, juicy, oblongish cells. How come it's not? Hang on, I got you on the wrong setting. All right, duh. Now you can see close up. See, they look like the inside of a. What are those things called? Gobstoppers? And then the top here. I love that. So yeah, I mean, I love bits and pieces of the whole thing but as a whole I'm not sure I may revisit this and I may do some embellishments um, but yeah it's 
See, there are the coppers peeking through. They're very dimensional cells. Yeah, this is a better camera focus. I just have to move super slow, not to make you guys puke. I know you already seen this, but you saw it with the shitty camera focus. So. Looks like the paint's pulling from the canvas a little bit, which is the reason I primed it. So, nice job wasting your time, Lisa. It kind of looks intestinal to me. <laughs> okay, here, we'll go back in on a focused camera. Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> looks like Jack's, what is his name? Jack Skeleton, whatever. Hello. Hello. Okay. Five. All right, guys. So I'm gonna put you back in the holster, and then I want to tell you a few things. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. I think I'm back. I don't know. I had a cal camera mil camera malfunction. Okay, so here's a recap. I had gloves on, and how does that happen? Um. I like the technique. It was a lot of fun. It was very challenging for me. Um, you want to make sure you have enough space in your area so that you can freely move your stuff around. I should have used the bigger table, which I will, I'll do next time for sure. Um, Maybe we put a thin coat of paint even on the side. Stop calling it that. <laughs> even on the the pieces that are on the side. Anyway. So. Mm, I think that's all I would do. And choose your colors wisely. I was feeling magenta for some reason. Probably because the last couple pieces that I've done have been blue. So I was just thinking maybe put some color in it. I don't even know where these... Do you see it? Do you see it? I don't know where those gnats come from. Does anybody know where those come from? They call them like fruit flies or whatever, but... I don't have no fruit. Um, I made a mess out of these, didn't I? Okay, and what else uh, did I want to tell you? So anyway, if you try, not if, when you try, because you know you want to try it. It was too fun. Remember to hashtag traveling triptych and then uh tammy and i'll be able to see your your um works of art and then also post it in our group 
um, if you're not already a member to our group, it is United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. And it is a pretty fun group. We're growing quite fast. We're actually growing faster than my YouTube channel is. Hashtag, come on guys, you gotta help us sister out. I don't know if that's a hashtag. Um, <laughs> anyway, if it's not, it should be. Okay, so. So, it's really weird talking to y'all. Because normally you just see my hands. But, uh, it's also kind of cool. I am going to attempt to do a live pour sometime real soon. That'll be exciting. And I am coming up on my 2,000 subscribers. I mean, I'm quite a ways away. I think I'm needing like, uh, like 180 more or something, 200 more. So 2,000 guys. And um, so if you can, you know, help share my videos, help spread the word, things like that, so we can get there, because I am planning a very, very cool giveaway. So uh, you won't want to miss that. But that's for a later date. We're down the road a little bit, and I can kind of figure out... Um, when I'll be hitting that milestone. And, uh, I think that's it. If you guys see anything in the, uh, video or you need any supplies at all, you can go just hit one of my links down. If you don't find what you want in one of my links, just enter Amazon through one of my links and then you can buy, you know, you can search for what it is you want and um, it will still give me credit as a Amazon affiliate. So um, I make a few cents on commission, whatever you put, you know, from Amazon and helps the channel. Um, Another way you can help the channel is thumbs up, shares, views, spread the word. Um, and if you ever have any questions, please, please, please call me. You can call me, but you don't have to call me. I don't know why I said that. But uh, if you really want to call me, you can call me. Um... Please comment down below and I try to get back to them. I am going to be having a video here pretty soon. I'm going to make some some little where the hell are they? Jewelry things. Are these cute? You can't see them yet. <laughs> I don't have my leg. Be patient, guys. Be patient. This was supposed to be a quick video. So anyway, see them? Little daisies. And then they have the little cabochon cubs in them. And then also the back has... I got some of these the last time I made some jewelry and people loved them. So I had to get some more. So yeah, that is what I do with my skins um, from acrylic pores or resin. I also do the... Uh, Little the 
the little pop socket things. Not pop sockets per se. But they look just like them. And I do them with either the acrylic or I dip them in like you have leftover resin. And then you, uh, you know, you have leftover resin. And then you can just like dip them in there. And then there you go. You have a phone holder. My phone holder has one of my dragon eyes. And if you haven't seen how I do the dragon eyes, that video is on my YouTube also. So yeah, I did a couple of the pop socket. Uh, I think I only did four of the Up the dragon eyes. Cool, huh? So, yeah. So, these would be a great seller also at fairs or whatnot. If you're friends with a dude at the local party store, he can hook you up. But I had to take my case off my phone just so that I can record. So, yeah, guys, I think that is it for now. And um, I hope you like it. And I hope you stay tuned for some cool stuff coming. I've got... I'm thinking about getting ready to do a big project. A, uh, I think I'm going to do another geode clock. So that'll be in like a couple different parts videos because they're really long. So, so yeah. So again, traveling triptych. Hashtag traveling triptych. And I hope to see you guys soon and thanks for watching bye <laughs> so awkward bye guys